Minecraft Factions, an age-old game mode which we all played at one time or another. The game mode changed significantly over time however, and when comparing the factions we see today with the factions of the past, the similarities are almost non-existent. But there weren't any large changes until a specific day. One day where everything changed. One day which changed Minecraft factions forever. So what was that day and what happened? Did it change for the better or for the worse? Well let me give you a quick history of factions. Minecraft factions dates back as early as 2010. However, back then the plugin only had this basics which you know today, such as fclaim, fhome, etc. Nothing too special. Back then, people would also build bases above ground, and it was common to see castles or villages. Raiding with TNT cannons was nowhere to be seen, and PvP was encouraged. This continued into 2011, with the addition of enchanted diamond armor. Still, the game was very simple, it was just build a base, get some loot, and go fight or raid. Around 2012 was when things began to change. Most servers started implementing plugins which allowed players to obtain items which would normally be unobtainable in vanilla Minecraft, such as monster spawners and XP bottles. It was at this time that getting enchanted diamond armor also became much easier, and players began building bases on the ground as well as sky bases way up to the sky at build limit. But at its core, factions still had the same goal, build a base with some friends, get some gear and go PvP and raid. A bit later, around 2013 and early 2014, factions continued to evolve and bases became harder to raid as people would build them out of obsidian and with water. This is also where TNT canning really evolved and became common in factions due to the increased difficulty in raiding. However, once again, factions at its core still had the same goals. Build a base, get some loot and raid. It wasn't super grindy, it was just fun. Then it all changed. Cosmic PvP released during mid-2014 and things began to shake up. Cosmic PvP brought in a wave of new features and plugins, including custom enchants, gen buckers, envoys, god kits, and the list goes on. These features weren't there from the very beginning of Cosmic PvP, but were implemented over the years of 2014 to 2016. 2015 was the last year we saw old faction servers as we know it, but these servers were dying, and dying fast. Cosmic PvP exploded with popularity due to it being owned by two popular Minecraft YouTubers, Mr. Wuffles and Preston Plays, who would make a video on it and promote it to their mostly young audience. Other large server networks and faction servers saw Cosmic success and decided to follow suit, adding similar plugins such as custom enchants, envoys and a whole lot more. By 2016 the faction servers of old were all but gone and every server was like Cosmic PvP. But how did these plugins actually impact factions and was the impact actually good? Well, for starters, bases were now gigantic boxes surrounded by walls to do a plugin called Gen Buckets. Basically, you could obtain buckets which when placed would create a column of a certain block going all the way down to the ground. It became easy to obtain lots of these and set up gigantic obsidian walls. Bases lost their charm. Every base looked the same. Of course you could still make the inside unique, but the basic structure was always the same now. People used to have their own unique base and building styles, and this was all gone with the implementation of Gen Buckets. Bases also became much harder and more time consuming to raid. Instead of raiding being about finding a hidden base and killing the other faction enough, it became a slow, boring, 2-3 hour at least process of booting a giant TNT cannon and slowly making your way through dozens of walls. As well as gen buckets, armor became far easier to come by, and these days most servers give you a decent set of enchanted diamond armor as soon as you join. But even then, that is considered valueless when accounting for custom enchants. Custom enchants really devalued vanilla enchants, as most of these custom enchants were insanely overpowered and without a full set of diamond armor with them, you wouldn't stand a chance in PvP. Speaking of armor, not only was vanilla armor basically useless, but the ability to easily get kits and other free items from donating made it so armor was really worthless. Back in 2013, if you died with your full set of enchanted diamond armor, it was a significant loss, but now if you died with your crazy custom enchanted armor set, you could just type one or two commands and get a completely fresh one. Of course, the best set of custom enchanted armor would be a pain to lose and wouldn't be as easily reclaimable, but even then it wouldn't matter that much as PvP became less and less skill based. Now PvP was always a fantastic element of factions, it was fast paced, adrenaline fueled and intense. You really didn't want to die and lose your stuff, but the addition of armor with custom enchants as well as servers making OP items such as god apples far easier to obtain reduced the skill required to PvP. Instead of PvP being about who could land more hits than the other in a short intense period of time, it became a who has more golden apples to survive or whose armor has higher durability. Fights drew out over 15 minutes long sometimes and the only way to win was to basically break your opponent's armor 
or make them eat more god apples than you. It became less about who could get more hits before the other person could, and more, who actually cares enough to click your mouse multiple times to get a virtual set of armor, which is basically valueless as it can be easily replaced with a single command. Besides from armor being valueless in PvP, there was almost no point to PvPing anymore, as players and factions were able to buy power, allowing them to claim more land, and they would also lose much less power from dying. In the early days of factions, you could easily raid somebody by killing them a few times, so that they lost power and their land became overclaimable. This was no longer the case in current day factions, so why even PvP? Most of the time you get no good gear, and it doesn't lead you to raiding a faction, and it is hardly skill based. Now, there are multiple other features and plugins which change factions in positive and negative ways, but if I were to talk about them, this video would go on forever. So instead, I'm going to address the elephant in the room and talk about the main reason factions has changed and why it has changed for the worse. With Cosmic's addition of all these new plugins and features, faction servers became much more monetizable, which basically meant a lot of things can now be sold for real money. In short, factions became pay to win. Ranks were always a thing in factions, and while they were slightly pay to win, and did give donators an advantage, it was never that extreme or significant. At least, not until Cosmic PvP. These days, faction servers are outrageously pay to win, and if you decide not to pay, you have an enormous grind ahead of you to even attempt to compete with the average factions. That's not to mention large factions which probably have invested thousands of dollars into a single server. Almost every single thing is purchasable with money, ranks cost hundreds of dollars, and Cosmic PvP even has gambling with loot boxes and slot machines. The majority of the people who play their server are well underage. This should be illegal. This is the key factor which ruined factions for me. Bases are basically unraidable unless you grind excessively or pay money. On top of that, good luck building one of these giant boxes if you don't spend any money. Don't even bother PvPing because donators who spend hundreds of dollars will have some of the best armor available to them with the type of one command. Oh, and all these custom events and outposts? Good luck doing anything there. Players would literally fly to you and kill you, taking all your loot. To sum it up, Factions is now only fun if you spend money, or if you have excessively grinded to the point of becoming wealthy, which isn't a fun process. Trust me. The charm which Factions once had of working together with your friends to find bases and claim land is gone. Big server owners such as Woofles and Preston Plays exploit their young fanbase to make thousands and have no passion for the game outside of making money from it, and they can get away with it. Absolutely disgusting. Feel free to share your comments and thoughts on modern day factions below, as well as tell me any great memories of factions you have before it was ruined by servers like Cosmic PvP. Thank you so much for watching.